It's twisted willow and tulip season, and I absolutely love it. The twisted willow has tiny little buds all over it, which if you leave it in your vase once the rest of your arrangement has finished, they will all burst open into lovely green shoots, which you can eventually actually plant, which is pretty amazing. The tulips have been grown for us in Lincolnshire. They're gonna arrive with the bulb attached and you can cut those off and plant them next year as well. Alongside the twisted willow and tulips, we've got some amazing magnum white chrysanthemums, Eryngium thistle, some lovely antirhinums, and finishing it off, eucalyptus parvifolia. So to look after your flowers, first of all, you've got to snip a diagonal inch off the end of all your stems, like so. Then use clean room temperature water, about a third full, and pop in your flower food. Then your chrysanthemums are gonna arrive in nets like this, and you can take them off once you've arranged your flowers by carefully removing them from the bottom to the top. So in go the chrysanthemums evenly around the edge, face your eryngium opposite each other. Now your tulips will be very short on arrival, but they'll grow up to 10 centimeters in length once in water. And you just wanna carefully pop these over the edge of the vase and their head will sit just above the rim of the vase. And this actually provides a very strong structure in the middle of the vase, which allows the other flowers to stand upright in. In I go with my lovely twisted willow, which is also providing a nice bit of bulk in the middle of the arrangement. There we go, very wild. Now I can take my antirhinums and create an even triangle in amongst the twisted willow. And to finish off, you wanna take your eucalyptus parvifolia and tuck it over the edge of the vase, facing opposite each other. So there we have it, a very wonderful, wild, clean and pure arrangement that I hope brings you a lot of joy.